Let's look now and see how we can add a piece of sheet music into Power Music. We'll go to New Song. We'll select the Sheet Music tab. And we're now faced with three options we can either import from a PDF file, we can import it from a scanner if we've got that connected to our computer, or we can import pictures that we've previously created either with a camera or another scanner. Let's look at import from PDF. This is by far the most common way to get music these days. Many, many pieces of music are available on the internet in PDF format, and you get CDs and discs of music in PDF format. So let's click on here and import from PDF. Let's browse to my folder of music. I've got some classical piano stuff I've downloaded from the internet here, all the uh, public domain uh, music that's out of copyright. So let's just choose a, a piece of music here. Now what's happened is that this has been brought into the program. We see that there are 12 pages of this particular piece of music. And if we just work our way down, we can see each of these pieces of music. And you'll notice that pages two and three are a single piece of music, a single song. So we're going to take them individually. So I'll put a tick with that one and a tick with that one. I also want to crop this slightly, so I don't want to take the whole page. So I'm going to select the area I want to take, which is that. And I'll just check that's OK on the other page as well. Yes, it is. What I should really do also is check to make sure it's a good resolution. So if I go to settings, 150 dot per inch is about the average we would use for a good size 22 or 24 inch screen. But if you wanted to display it at even higher resolution, you can go up to 200 or 300 dots per inch. Obviously, the higher the resolution, the larger the file it creates. What we can also do is we can preview either by clicking here or here. And if we preview, we see the music as it would be full screen. Pressing escape takes us back. We've also got a slider scale here to what's called grayscale softening, and this can be used to make the music look slightly smoother if it's been scanned from, let's say, a very old book, which is poor quality, and you can play around with these values to see if you can improve what you're seeing on screen. Let's go back to pages. So we've selected page two and page three, and we'll just add this music in here. It tells me that page one is page two of the PDF and page two is page three of the PDF. I could now go on and select other pages if I wanted, but I'm just going to return now to the editor. We've got the music in. At this point, we could do things like we could modify, we could change the brightness and contrast. If the music was uh, not quite straight on the paper, we could de-skew it, but I don't think we need to do anything to this. It looks quite good, so I'll just cancel out of there. Remember as well, we can also duplicate pages here if we wanted to have the same page appearing again and we can make changes to it. And the good thing about it is if you duplicate a page and you then annotate that page, that page's annotation is separate from the previous page. OK, I'm quite happy with that. I'm now going to add a title to it. So this piece is Song 2. And remember, you can give it as many titles as you want. We could go into the tags now and we could put in um, an author. Um, if there's copyright information, we could put some categories in here. We could put performance notes in. I'm just going to put in the title and save it at this point. The final thing you want to do is decide how many pages per screen you want to use. We would normally recommend two pages per screen. If it's a good widescreen monitor, you might want to go to three. Or if you're using a tablet in portrait mode, you'd leave it as a single page per screen. So we've set up our two pages per screen, we've given it a title, we click on save, song has been successfully added. And here it is in our list of all songs. We could just go full screen, and there it is. Let's look at another example of this. Again, let's go to new song. Select the sheet music tab. Go to import from PDF. Choose a different piece of music. If we simply want to import all of the pages from the PDF, the quick way is to go click to select all. Or if we're wanting to clear that selection and make only the current selection, we click on there, we can get the current selection. Now, 
There seems to be a duplication here. We've got page one appearing twice, but if the PDF file has been created with page sections, then the actual titles of each of these pages would appear in here. So let's just add the whole of this, select all, add the selection. There we see the pages there. Return to the editor. Again, we've got the option here to manipulate the order of the pages, to make some changes to the pages in terms of brightness, contrast and so on. Give it a title and then set the number of pages per screen and save it. So that would be the way you'd import from PDF. I'll do a separate video on scanning and importing from pictures.